This is Comet Nishimura, and it was discovered in the month of August by Japanese amateur astronomer Mr. Hideo Nishimura. And since then, the comet has been chased by many astrophotographers and amateur astronomers around the world. The comet was initially in the Gemini constellation when it was discovered by Mr. Nishimura and then reached into Cancer constellation by the end of August 2023. During the first half of September, it was into Leo constellation and now during the second half has entered the Virgo constellation. The comet is important to see because it will not be seen in the next for 100 years as it is a non-periodic type of comet. Right from its discovery, the comet has become brighter and brighter day by day during its journey through our solar system. The comet made its closest approach to Earth on the 12th of September and will reach its perihelion on the 17th of September. But with time, the comet has also moved closer and closer to the horizon, making it difficult for us to spot it. The comet was clearly visible until 13th of September in the northeastern sky just few minutes before the sunrise, but now it's getting closer to sun. Hence, it won't be visible until its perihelion, but the comet is expected to be visible after 17th of September in the evening skies, so here's how you can watch it. The comet might be visible after 17th of September in the western sky in the direction of sunset just few minutes after the sunset. You can use any stargazing application like Stellarium, Star Walk 2, or Sky Tonight to track this comet with your smartphone. To know more about tracking this comet with smartphone, you can watch this video. The link to the video is given in the description. You will have to use binoculars or telescope to see this comet. The comet will have an altitude of less than 10 degrees in sky. Hence, make sure that you are under dark skies and the horizon should be extremely clear. Comets are very unexpected, and if this comet Nishimura survives its perihelion, then we might see it in evening skies afterwards. So let's hope for the best and wait for it. Do give it a try or else you will have to wait for another 400 years. If this video is helpful to you, then please like and share it ahead. And for more such updates like this on astronomy, astronomical events, and astrophotography, do subscribe my channel.